After several weeks of, as John put it at the 8 o'clock service last Sunday, an agrarian theme, Jesus plowing through all of these different parables using seed and wheat and sowers and landowners, after all of these weeks of talking about things growing from the earth and them symbolizing different aspects of God's love or presence or our fruitfulness in the world, we sort of now see the seed bear fruit and we have a Sunday where we really think about the Eucharistic meal, about that time when we come together on Sunday morning and break bread together and have that communion with one another. And so all of our hymns and our service music and our prayers will all focus on that shared experience that we have as we come together as people of faith and share communion. One of the wonderful expressions that we have of that Eucharistic feast is a new hymn by Sylvia Dunstan, who passed away not too terribly long ago, uh, wrote this text later in her life. All who hunger, gather gladly. Holy manna is our bread. Come from wilderness and wandering. Here, in truth, we will be fed. A marvelous text that uses a lot of imagery from throughout the Bible. The Old Testament, talking about the manna that the Israelites experienced as they were wandering in the wilderness but also going through New Testament images as well, but all uniting us to that idea of a shared meal. And in our tradition, this is uh, matched with a tune from the Southern Harmony called Holy Manna, and was originally a tune that talked about, or a, a tune that was matched with a text that talked about longing for spiritual fulfillment in heaven. And here it's juxtaposed with this text that talks about experiencing heaven where we are as a community. We hope that at the sequence, as we really get into this Eucharistic theme, that you will lift your voice and sing with us and create community. It also gives the choir a chance to sing some of our most popular and well-loved anthems. So at the offertory, we'll be singing that beautiful melody of Cesar Franck, Panis Angelicus. The bread of angels has become the bread for humans. that uh, has been with us since Franck first wrote that in the late 19th century. And then going back even a little further from that, historically speaking, at the communion, the choir will sing Mozart's setting of Ave Verum, that Eucharistic hymn talking about Christ's body broken for us, but that provides healing and wholeness for us as a community. So we have some very familiar hymns and familiar anthems on, in store as we all come together and form that community here at St. John's. We invite you to join us here in the chapel at 8 o'clock, at Lakeshore Park at 9, and in the Cathedral Church at 1030. And of course, you can always join us on local cable channel 12 or on our YouTube channel. <laughs> 